Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Barbaris. In our previous video, we created our VM template for our domain controller. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to clone that and create our gateway and our MDT server. We're going to sysprep them and rename them and set them up the way we want to. Now, if you want to add additional service to your um, labs, you can do that very easily. So what I'm going to do is, before I get to video two, I'm going to show you what I usually do. And so with DC01, I'm going to right click on this, click Manage, Clone, Next, Next, create a full clone. I'm just going to call this template, and I'm going to place it in my VMs folder. Let that clone And this way we have one that we can use that's pristine and it's already got all of the things that we did in our lab video one. Okay, so I'm going to close that. You'll see that it shows up and I'm just going to click remove. Now it didn't remove it from the machine. It's still in the folder right here. And what we can do is we can click file open, we can go to this folder, go to template, and you just open up the VMX file and it'll reload it. Okay, just a little uh, trick to do in case you want to do that. Okay, so let's get started with video 02. First thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on DC01, click on settings, we're going to go to our network adapter. We're going to go to our LAN segment and select MDT Lab. Click OK. Good. And we'll create our first real clone for our lab. So right click, click Manage, Clone, Next, Next, create a full clone, GW01, click Finish, and let that go. Shouldn't take too long. And there we go. And we'll create one more. So right click again, manage, clone, next, and MDT01, finish. And away we go. Once that's done, we'll move them to the MDT folder like we have with uh, DC01. And what we're going to do is on our gateway, we're going to add another network adapter. We're going to adjust the memory on our MDT server to 8 gigs and 4 cores of the processor. We'll add a couple more drives, one for our deployment, one for SQL, one for our WSS content, and one for our file share. Okay. So let's start here. We're going to move these right under the DC01. And there we go. Now they're in the folder. Okay. All right. First things first, go to the gateway, settings, click add, another network adapter. This one's going to be a NAT. Okay. Then click OK. Now we'll go to our MDT server. We're going to start here. Settings on RAM, we're about 8 gigs, 8192 megabytes. Processors, we're going to add two more cores. Okay, we're going to click Add Hard Disk Next, MVME recommended. Create a new virtual disk, 100 gigs, store as a single file. Next, and next, we'll click Add Next, Next. Create a new virtual disk. This one will be 60 gigs for our SQL. Next. Okay, here's our WSS content drive. 220 gigs. Store as a single file. Next. Next. And another one for our file share. 200 gigs. Store as a single file. Next. Next. And OK. There we are. And now we're just going to power on each VM. So click on DC01, power it up, 
I usually wait until I see the Windows logo and you can start the other ones. There we go. And one more. And I'll come back when they're at their logon screens. Okay, and we're back. They're now at the logon screens. And now we're going to log in. So let's start with DC01, Control Alt Insert. Log in there. There we go. And one more. And what you're going to notice is when they all log in, because they're clones of each other, of course, that the host names are the same. Okay? And we're going to fix that with sysprep, which gives it a random host name and changes the GUID. Okay? So let's copy this just like that. And we'll click right click start, click run, paste that in, control V. We're going to click generalize and click OK. Let that sysprep go. Same thing here. Paste, generalize, OK. And the last one. Paste generalize and okay now we're just going to rate for the reboots and I will uh, come back when they're rebooted okay our machines have rebooted we're now here at the hey there screen so we'll click next accept I'm going to do this on all three of them okay we'll start up here and now we're going to give that our password Okay, retype that a few times. This is a little monotonous, but that's all right. There we go. We got our astronaut in the ocean who's uh, keeping us calm, right? There we go. And all right, we're good there. So now we can log in. So first things first, log into DC01. Okay, now remember, we added a secondary NIC to GW01. So it's going to come up with that network prompt, and we're going to wait for that to come up and then click yes. All right, so give that a moment. There we go. Click yes. And we'll go to the next one. Okay. We won't have those prompts on the other ones yet until we add them to the um, routing remote in a, in a next video. Okay. So let's go here. We'll go to DC01. We'll press the numlock key. Do the same on all three of these. Okay. Unlock key is good. And then now what we'll do is in server manager, we'll click on manage server manager properties. Do not start server automatically. Click OK. And close that. We'll go up the chain here. Do not start automatically. And one more. Server manager properties. OK. Do not start up automatically. Now we're going to verify that the host names are different. You can see 8O, HV, and 8IA. So we're good. Now we're going to change these host names to what we want them to be. So let's right click our desktop, PowerShell 7, open here as administrator. We're going to do all three of these, okay? Just like that. And starting at the top, we're going to copy from 135 to 134. It's going to rename the computer and restart. Okay, so DC01 first, then GW01 next, and MDT01 last. Okay, and once those are restarted, I'll uh, log back in. Okay, and now we're going to log in. Do this 
focus on all three of them. And then we'll wait for BG info to reload with the correct host name. And the host names should now match what we gave them as a VM name. So DC01 is good. Give that a few seconds. GW01 and one more MDT01. There we go. Okay, we're good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it its IP addresses. Okay, so our DC is going to be 192.168.0.10. Our gateway is going to be 192.168.0.1. And our MDT server is going to be 192.168.0.20. Okay, so we're going to start with GW01 since it's our gateway. Okay. I'm going to copy from 162 up to 153, just like that. I'm going to right-click on the desktop. PowerShell here is administrator. Give that a moment. Paste. There we go. And that's good to go. Now, since it's going to be using the gateway, we can highlight from 177 up to 168 for our domain controller. You can see it says DC01 right here. And this will bring up the networking because it's going to start using the gateway. There we go. Boom. Okay. Now, because this is going to be our domain controller, there is a disable the allow crypto for older operating systems, which we're going to disable. Um, using a registry key first and then later on we'll use a uh, group policy to to fix it completely okay so that's our suggested actions from microsoft so we're going to do that and i'm going to copy from 188 up to 184 and i'll paste that there and it'll restart the machine okay now let's go to mdt01 and we'll copy from 208 up to 195 and what's this going to do? It's going to do the set the servicing pipe timeout to 180 seconds or three minutes, and it's also going to open up disk management for our additional disk that we created. Okay, so right click PowerShell seven. It's going to give it its IP address as well, and you'll see the networks pop up. All right, there it is. We're going to minimize PowerShell right here. And then in disk management, we're going to click OK. And you'll see we have those four additional disks. Now, the first one here is our 100 gig. We're going to click New Simple Volume, Next, Next, Next. And we're going to call this Deployment, and Next, and Finish. OK. The next one is going to be for our SQL. It's a 60 gig. Now, this one, the block size, the allocation unit size, we're going to set this to 64K. And that's because of the way that SQL handles certain uh, allocation units. Okay, next. Gets into IOPS and a whole bunch of other things, but it's fine. Now we're going to do our WSS content drive. So call this WSS content. Next, finish. And our last one is our file share. So next, next, file share, next, finish, close disk management. We'll click our PowerShell and click from 260 to 259 for that carriage return. It'll restart the machine. We'll go up to GW01. We'll also paste that. And there we go. That's a video too. And I will see you in the next one.